Hi Aries, I would like to start this reading with a message of love and peace. The cards will tell you what you need to know, not what you want to know. Let's begin. So let's see what the tarot has to say. And if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, and it's all the good things that YouTube likes. So let's see what the tarot has to say here. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. All right. So we are crowned with the high priestess reversed. So we have a strong connection with spirit coming forward. Now, this is a time frame of April 1st to April 15th. So we're right in Aries time frame where just note that, that things can be more intense for us when we're in our our own time frame. So when psychic energy is coming forward, spiritual energy is coming forward, intuitive energy is coming forward, we can already be a little bit on overload right now. We're like, listen, there's enough going on. I can't handle this or this is too much. So just being aware of this during this time that the veil is being lifted from our eyes and we're like, you know what? No, <laughs> no, put the veil back on, pull the covers back over my head. I need I need quiet. I need to connect. I need to relax. So that is going to be very important here as well. There is the, the sense of the heart opening. So just being aware of that, there's a healing coming forward, forward as well as intuitive understanding coming forward. So being aware of this is going to be a super important thing. It moves us then to the five of cups reverse. Now the five of cups is change your mind and change your life. When it is reversed, we are tending to look at something that we see as a tragedy that has happened. The three cups have been spilt over, right? You can see that right here. The wine has, you know, gone into the dirt. And so instead of the beautiful glasses of wine that we were going to have, we now have mud and we can look at it and just be so sad. And we are, it's like, look at this. It's just so sad. It's so overwhelming. Like, look at this instead of turning around and saying, I still have two glasses. And it might be that not everybody gets as much to drink as we had anticipated, but we still have these two glasses. And remember the two of cups is healing, beautiful love, but we can get really stuck in what isn't going right right now. Then we have the king of cups. This is water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. If you're born on the cusp with Pisces, if you have water sign energy in your chart, if you have water sign energy in your life, this comes through very powerfully, but it also comes through rather gratingly. Like it's like nails on a chalkboard just a bit. So just being aware with the King of Cups that we can feel emotionally overwhelmed, which Spirit is showing us with the High Priestess reverse, with the with the Five of Cups reverse. We can also have a hard time leading by example, which is how we as Aries energy like to lead. We like to be able to do it, to get things done, to move things forward. So when the King of Cups is reversed, we can be doubting ourselves. How do I move forward? Where is it that I want to be? We can feel overwhelmed by the emotions of the world and of others. So just being aware of this, especially if we're more sensitive people, if we're more empathic people, we are feeling things a lot more intensely. and. Again, because we have the high priestess reverse, because we are having a bit of difficulty connecting with the spiritual energy that's coming forward, or we feel overwhelmed connecting with that energy, we're already on a place of kind of heightened alert. So when this energy comes in, the King of Cups reverse, or you know, people want us to take care of their problems, heal them, and never listen to us, we can be like, you know what? No, I'm done, and <laughs> have a very strong reaction to things. It brings us then to the King of Swords in the upright position. The King of Swords is air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If we have air sign energy in our chart, if we have air sign energy in our life, this is strong, positive, powerful energy coming forward. It's very interesting that we have the two kings here. We are represented by the emperor in the major arcana. So we very much jive with sacred masculine energy really, really well. And with the King of, of Cups, we can have a hard time with the emotional side of it, but with the logical side of it, oh my gosh, we're on fire here. We're cutting through doubts and fears and disappointments, hurts and pains. We are embracing our voice. We can be having a bit of difficulty fully 
embodying our voice during this time. So just being aware of that, meaning that we can have a lot that we want to say and maybe not always say it in the best way because we are emotionally a bit overwhelmed at times or very overwhelmed at times. And it leads us to the three of pentacles. Now in the Rider Waite Smith deck, the three of pentacles is three people working together to create a cathedral or some sort of building. Here it is one woman creating a blanket, you know, quilting, embroidering, whatever it is that she's doing, guarding her money, you know, having her dreams before her and really, you know, looking at what it is that she desires in her mind, in her life, how she wants to move forward. And it's all, it's all done very singularly. So during this time, we can be having difficulty with self-discipline. Okay. We can have difficulty, you know, sp saving our money. We can really want to spend our money and have a lot of things. Like it's not even that there can be, okay. So what Spirit is saying is that there can be a lot of expenses that come up. And it's like, okay, if that's what's happening, that's one thing. But we can also really be tempted to say, you know what, treat yourself, treat yourself, you deserve it, treat yourself, you deserve it. Yeah, but what you also deserve is to have a cushion in the bank account. So if anything happens, you're okay. So when when people, especially sales clerks, say treat yourself, you deserve it, just know that they're told in their meetings, you know, to say that to people, treat yourself, you deserve it. Because if a person feels like you're pampering them and you're encouraging them to be pampered, they'll be encouraged to spend more money. So just be mindful about this. I know I worked in, in sales and I always thought, I was like, that's so mean. <laughs> like, you know, you build up this rapport and then they're like, just tell them, you know, treat yourself, you deserve it, you know, get to have a me day. So just, just be mindful about this during this time, because I can see us really, really wanting to feel taken care of. We do need a me day. We need we need to be calmer and gentler to ourselves during this time. We need to be cared and, and cradled and, and loved. And we need that energy. And if we're not getting that energy from people in our lives, right, that we we are connecting with, we can, we can you know, sit there and say, you know what, I, I'm, I'm feeling seen with the sales associate. I'm, I'm just going to, to buy to make myself feel better. So just be aware of that because that's, that's something that's, that's mean. <laughs> that's mean. Okay. So let's see what spirit has to say. And if you are interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a storm cloud, a, a ring cloud in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced on Sunday. So good luck to everyone and hit the bell notification if you want to be notified when that video comes up. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Luminous reverse. We're not feeling like we shine. We're not. We can feel overwhelmed. We can feel a bit sad. Again, this is going to be a time where I know some of you are thinking, like, why did I even click on this? This is not uplifting. But it is, though. It is because if you know, hey, listen, I'm going to be a bit sensitive. I'm going to be a bit overwhelmed. Emotionally, I feel like I've got, gotten kicked by a donkey. You know, things are intense. I'm logical. I'm, I'm going after things. You know, we can be sharp with our words during this time. Yes, because we're, we're cutting to the heart of the matter and we can be telling ourselves some tough truths. We just have to be mindful about that because we can get to be a, a little bit mean, you know, with ourselves at time because we want to push ourselves forward and because we're thinking, okay, this is enough of this nonsense. Just keep going. But if we say to ourselves, listen, I need to be kind to me. I need to embrace my healing. I need to let myself shine. Not like the sun. I don't want to shine like the sun right now. I want to be as luminous as the full moon. I want to be that gentle luminosity in the sky. Or we can say, you know what? I really want to be a star. I don't want to be a, a moon. I don't want to be a sun. I want to be a star. And so letting ourselves shine and giving ourselves permission to be gentler, be quieter, walk more gently, walk softly on this earth is going to be very important. It moves us into our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides. Oh, goodness. Show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is the third chakra and this is the solar plexus chakra. We are mastering ourselves. We are stepping into the energy, the power of us, and we need to listen to ourselves as well. But we also need to listen to others in a world where everybody's so busy talking all the time. Listening is a superpower. So embracing the throat chakra, the, the color blue, and letting us listen, letting us quiet ourselves, center ourselves, and listen will help to bring the mastery into our lives, 
who helped to open our world in a way that we hadn't, you know, anticipated, we didn't think could happen. And we see ourselves more and more and more. Trust your gut. Be mindful about what you're eating, what you're putting into your body. What are they? I was, I was told by a friend, and it's interesting because I, I've done this and it really does work, that there are five main things in our diet that can can cause us to have a lot of stress, like gastrointestinally. Now, I'm not a doctor. I do not, do not pretend to be one. But they said it's sugar, wheat, no, sugar, wheat, corn, soy, and oh, there's something else. Sugar, wheat, corn, soy. And I forget the other one. I do. And I have found that dairy. There we go. Dairy. All right. There we go. I knew I could remember it. That if we, we look at things and we're, we're just kind of like feeling under the weather or we're feeling like overwhelmed or stressed and we don't know why, look at what you're putting into your body, especially those five things, sugar, wheat, corn, soy, dairy, and see how your body responds if you eliminate one for a little bit of time. And, you know, like a, a week or two weeks, see how your body feels or, or longer. I don't know how long you have to do an elimination diet for but eliminate them for a while. I, I would do it for, I did it for a month, but you don't have to do that. And then put it back in, see how you feel. And then eliminate another one, see how you feel. See how it moves you forward. See how your body reacts. Because this is going to be a time where as you listen to your gut, as you listen to yourself, you're going to find that you're listening to the rest of the world so much more. And you're going to be so empowered. And it's going to go from a time where it almost feels like the world is like nails on a chalkboard to you're moving forward in a calm, beautiful grace that that has people coming to you for help and advice and and advice, you know, but also has you standing tall within yourself and saying, I got this, I, I can do this. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And this is the Queen of Wands reversed. <laughs> And I know you're saying, why are all the cards except for the King of Swords reversed? The King, of, the Queen of Wands reversed is like, hey, listen, be mindful that we can get in our own way. Just, just be aware of that during this time. We can get in our own way. We can be super harsh on ourselves. We can have a bit of a temper. We can feel fiery. We can be overwhelmed. We can also not be seeing our own magic, seeing our own talents. We can see everybody else's talents, everybody else's magic, everybody else's success, but we have difficulty seeing our own. So being aware of that, kind of calling that energy out during this time is going to be super beneficial and super helpful for us. Now, our subconscious spirit message is authentic. I know that word gets thrown around a lot. You know, be your authentic self, embrace your authenticity. Authentic is coming forward and it means be true to you, all right? And it sounds so easy to say be true to you, but when we're bombarded by all these different you know, advertisements, all these different things to say, oh, you'll be happy if, you'll be happy if, you'll be happy if, which is the subliminal messaging. You know, you'll be cool if, you'll be rich if, you'll be this if, you'll be that if. Be you. And even if you think, well, that's not cool. Even if you think, oh, well, that's silly. Be who you are. If you come from a place of love, if you come from a place of compassion, if you come from a place of grace, you know, if you are respecting yourself and respecting those around you, be you and let that shine through. Because there's beauty in that. And you know what? So much of our world isn't true to themselves. We're, we're trying to fit into a certain mold, be a certain way. No, just be who you are. And do so with pride and do so with love and gentleness. Gentleness is going to be so important here, Aries. And it sounds funny to say for Aries energy, because I always think of Aries as that like big, you know, like biker bodybuilder person who's holding the little puppy in his hands, you know, and being like, you know, just the most cute, adorable person with that little puppy or, you know, has their their little granddaughter with them. And it's just the most doting grandpa, father, you know, figure. That's how I see Aries energy. When I see it as the emperor, I see Aries as the emperor. That's how I see Aries. It's like this person who is able to stand up for what they believe in, be strong, be powerful, but also be the most, the most wonderfully loving, compassionate person. And that is an extraordinary thing. 
And that's the energy that we want to embody. Even if you're saying, okay, well, I'm not, I'm not a guy, you know, <laughs> it doesn't have to be a guy. It's just the imagery that comes in my head. Our subconscious chakra message is inspiration reverse. This is the sacral chakra coming forward. Our sacral chakra is a bit blocked. Our throat chakra and our solar plexus chakra isn't. Our sacral chakra, we can tap on our tailbone to help that sacral chakra move in inspiration. We can we can just visualize, you know, the color orange flowing, flowing through us. That's the sacral chakra color. But we need to start being inspired again. We have lost our inspiration. We have lost this the shine that is in our eyes and we need to take it back and this is a time to reclaim our inspiration and our beauty it brings us then to our energy to be mindful of this is taurus energy if we're born on the cusp with taurus if we have taurus energy in our life this is the high priest we which is the hierophant in the rider weight smith deck we can be having a bit of difficulty with taurus energy in our chart in our life but we can also have a bit of difficulty being told what to do. Remember the the Hierophant, the Pope in the Rider Waite Smith deck, right? Which represents the Pope in the Rider Waite Smith deck, was the one who could tell emperors what to do. Aries, we are the emperor in the tarot. We do not like to be told what to do. So this energy comes in and is kind of like it trumps us, right? It it, it it's that higher power that comes forward. Just be mindful. We do not want to be told what to do during this time. And we can really respond to, yeah, well, who the heck are you type of thing. Listen is going to be one of the greatest tools that we have at our disposal. Listening, connecting, trusting our instinct, and then knowing that we're not willy-nilly giving away our power to anyone. We are claiming our power. We are claiming ourselves and we'll make the decision type of thing. Now, yes, when it's your boss, when it's this and that, it's not as easy, but we are just not blindly following. That's just not going to be the Aries way during this time. And then our subconscious tarot message is the devil reverse. We are releasing a lot of chaos. We are releasing a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of disappointment, a lot of feeling chained, held back, denied. We're going to also be releasing a lot of our addictions, people pleasing, you know, trying to do everything just so. They could be addictions that you think of when you think of addictions, you know, drugs, alcohol, you know, those type of things. But this can also be an addiction to shopping. This can be an addiction to food. This can be an addiction to, to again, people pleasing, you know, putting ourselves down, whatever it is. It could be, you know, eating well. It could be exercising. We're releasing our addictions and we're looking at ourselves rather raw and opened and saying there is chaos in the world that cannot be controlled. And I understand that. Because remember, the devil is a conglomerate of chaos gods that were all put together to make one big, you know, nasty. But chaos is a part of life in existence. You know, even we as human beings, we have chaos in us. You know how sometimes you just get mad and you just erupt and you're like, whoa, I didn't expect that. That wasn't how I planned this day to go. And so here it's respecting the chaos within us, not being ruled by that chaos and not trying to deny ourselves chaos. And I know that sounds odd, but not trying to control everything or escape everything and, and seeing ourselves for who we truly are, embracing that authenticity of being. All right. All right, Aries. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy, as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Aries. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.